Now that we've gotten all the preliminary work out of the way, it's time to execute an actual atomic test. To reiterate a piece of advice we offered in the first part of this video series, you'll want to make sure that you have permission to run tests and a safe environment in which to run them before you execute anything. Assuming that's all set, we're going to show you three test executions. First, we'll execute a single test, then a pair of tests, and finally, we'll launch all of the tests associated with a given technique. The technique we're going to use in this demonstration is T1117 Reg Server 32. As a sidebar, MITRE reorganized attack into sub techniques while we were producing these videos. As such, Reg Server 32 is now a sub technique of signed binary proxy execution, and its new ID is T1218.010. Other than swapping out the attack IDs, everything in this video should still work. The first thing we're going to do show the brief details of the tests associated with Reg Server 32. For some context, Reg Server 32 is a native Windows operating system component that's used for registering object linking and embedding controls. However, adversaries use it to proxy the execution of malicious code. We've got three options here, local and remote versions of COM scriptlet execution and a local DLL execution test. We'll start with the local COM scriptlet test. Test execution with Invoke Atomic is incredibly simple. The PowerShell command consists of Invoke Atomic test T1117 or T1218.010 Test numbers 1 and then you simply run it. You'll know that it executed successfully when the calculator appears on the screen. If we want to run test number two, we simply replace the one with a two and run it. Now let's run both the remote and the local versions of the COM scriptlet execution test. The command for running both tests is the same as before, except now the test numbers switch is followed by one comma two. You'll know it worked when you see two calculators appear on the screen. Finally, we can run all three tests at once. This command is even simpler since we don't need to specify any test numbers. We merely issue a command that includes invoke atomic test and the technique ID, and we run it. You'll know that it executed properly when three calculators appear on the screen.